Okay, in this question, uh, we're asked to uh, determine uh, some things about investing money. Uh, so this is an investment problem, and uh, a medical practice deposits six thousand dollars of profit-sharing money at the end of each semi-annual period. So semi-annual, of course, means every half year. Okay, that's the first thing, and they do this for five and a half years. We want to find the final amount in the account if the deposits earn 8% compounded semi-annually again, notice that, and then find the amount of interest earned. All right, so we've got a couple of things that we have to do here. Uh, <clears throat> the first thing and the most difficult part about any of these questions is to actually identify the kind of uh, problem that it actually is. All right, so let's go through the words very carefully. Notice the practice deposits $6,000. This is a fixed amount. All right, so we've got equal amounts here. Okay. Okay, so let's put that down as number one. We have equal payments. All right, and they're doing this at the end of each semi-annual period. Okay. All right. So if they're made at the end, so let's put that down. Number two. All right. So the payments are, are made. All right. At the end of each period. All right. And of course, the period there is semi-annual. Okay. Now these two pieces of information here are enough to identify the kind of uh, problem this is. This is an annuity problem. Okay. Now we've got further things happening here in that uh, they do this for five and a half years. We want to find the final amount in the account if the deposits earn 8% and this is compounded semi-annually, same. All right, it's the same semi-annually, same period. So the third piece of information, right, is that uh, if the frequency, right, of compounding is the same. As the payments, which it is, it's semi-annually, and so this will tell us that this is a ordinary annuity. Right now, an ordinary annuity means that we're looking at finding the final amount, which would be the future value. And that's what we're looking at finding. All right, now, so let's call S the future value. All right, that's what we're trying to find. Uh, what else do we have? Well, to find the future value, we use the formula for an ordinary annuity, which is 1 plus i, r by 1 plus i, to the n, where n is the number of periods, minus 1 over i, like so. Now, <clears throat> alright, so let's identify some of these things. We've done the future value already as s. So r is going to be equivalent to the payments. Which in this case is $6,000. Right, next I is going to be the interest. In this case, the interest is 8%, but we need to be careful because this is calculated semi-annually, so twice a year. So this is actually 0 0.08 over 2. So we need to do that over 2, which of course is 0 0.04. And finally, N is the number of periods.
Right, now we're doing this for five and a half years. And we're doing it twice a year, semi-annually, which will be 11 periods. So our future value S is going to be given by 6,000 by 1 plus 0 0.04 to the 11 minus 1 over 0 0.04, which of course is going to be 6,000 by 1.04 to the 11 minus 1 over 0 0.04. Oops. 0.04. Right, now we use our calculator on this. Now the best way to use your calculator is this. Find the 1.04 to the power of 11, subtract 1, divide the result by 0 0.04, and then multiply by 6,000. Now when you do that, you'll get approximately uh, $80,918.11. Right, so the future value right, or the amount in the account is eighty thousand nine hundred and eighteen dollars and eleven cents. Now the interest earned interest earned is going to be how much we've got left in the account minus how much we actually put in the account each time so that's six thousand and we did that eleven times all right so this is going to be equal to eighty thousand nine hundred and eighteen and eleven cents minus sixty six thousand dollars which comes out to be Fourteen thousand nine hundred and eighteen dollars and eleven cents, and so that will be the interest earned.